All right, so we're going to talk about hydrocarbons. Um, hydrocarbons are the simplest organic compound which contain only carbon and hydrogen. And the reason I box off organic compounds is because we've been dealing with thus far inorganic compounds. In Chem 1, you're dealing with inorganic stuff. Now we're going to talk about organic stuff. And organic, com organic chemistry is the chemistry dealing with carbon, the, the atom of carbon. And the reason you might wonder, um, why is it that carbon is, has a whole branch of chemistry just to dedicated to itself? Well, carbon is actually very easily bonded to itself and other atoms around it, hydrogen being something that it bonds to readily, and oxygen and nitrogen and things like that. And because um, they bind, it bonds co covalently with those things around it um, quite often, there's actually thousands upon thousands upon thousands of chemistry containing, sorry, carbon containing compounds um, within, in our world. So you're dealing with like medicines have tons of carbon containing compounds, um, plastics are all carbon containing compounds. Um, our body is made up of carbon, so a whole, we, have to have, we have to dedicate a whole branch of, of chemistry just to, this, just to this atom itself. So let's talk about how it bonds and what kind of compounds we can actually make using carbon. So you know carbon has four valence electrons, um, which means it's going to form four bonds to get the total of eight valence electrons that it needs. Um, hydrogen, which it typically bonds with, you'll see most, most often, has one valence electron and, and it only forms one bond because it only needs two valence electrons. So the simplest organic, com organic compound or hydrocarbon you're actually going to see is methane, which is CH4, one carbon bonded to four hydrogens. Um, so there are also many, many, many different types of uh, hydrocarbons you're going to come across, um, and they're going to be called carbon chains or something along those lines. And one of the first things you're going to see are things called alkanes. And alkanes are all singly bonded to yeah, other carbons. So everything within the, within the um, carbon chain is all single bonded. So a basic uh, structure for, or a basic formula to determine the formula for uh, a hydro, or sorry, an alkane would be CNH2. Uh, 2n plus 2. So here I have a hydrocarbon chain, an alkane chain, written up here for you, and it has four carbons. Okay, and so according to our formula, it's uh, our, the number of H's is going to be 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 2, which is 10. Okay, and if you counted, actually, this, this hydrocarbon chain or this alkane, you're going to end up with C4H10. Okay, another type of chain is that if there are double bonds within it, so we know that carbons can actually double bond with itself. So they're called alkenes. Alkenes contain at least one, uh, one or more double bonds. So an easy uh, formula for, for figuring out the formula for uh, alkenes is CNH2N. So let's say here I have four carbons, so I'm going to say C4. Two times four is eight. We have eight hydrogens, and here's a double bond, and if you counted the hydrogens around it, you'll find that there are eight hydrogens around it, which follows this. Now, if there's another double bond, if there's two double bonds, this might change a bit, but um, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, the third type of uh, hydrocarbon that you might see, hydrocarbon backbone chain, is an alkyne. Okay, an alkyne is dealing with triple bonds. We know that they can go up, uh, all the way up to triple bonding. So that's when some, there's at least one triple bond within the backbone of carbon, of the carbon chain. So here is an example of a um, triple bonded carbon chain. Here's a triple bond. This also has four carbons, so I'm going to say C4. And according to our formula, it's going to be 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 2, which is 6. So you have H6. Okay, and if you counted this, this would be correct. And again, if you had more um, than one triple bond, this would actually change quite just a, just a little bit. Um, so an easy way to remember going from single, double, to triple, and remembering that they're alkane, alkene, and alkyne, is to notice that, that, that these are actually um, in alphabetical order. We have alkane, alkene, and alkyne, A-E-Y, which is single, double, triple, which actually might help you in remembering the name of that. Um, and lastly, another way that carbons can actually bond together is in cyclic formation, um, making carbon rings. Now, you can't have a carbon ring with less than five carbons because then they're going to have stress within the bonds because they're going to be too close together. So the smallest um, carbon ring that you're actually going to see is with five carbons around it. Okay? So in this case, the little intersections are where carbons are because the carbon's here, 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 and here. That's where carbon is located. So there's five of them, C5. And then 2 times 5 is 10, H10. And then within the cyclic formation, you can also have triple bonds and double bonds within them too, but they're all under cyclic formations, that, that category. So these are all the different types of hydrocarbons that you're going to see when dealing with organic chemistry.